A few people have asked me why Glenn McCrory is always speaking badly about Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. In this particular video, he tells Anthony Joshua, he says Anthony Joshua has been found out and he should stay away from Wilder. Well, Glenn McCrory knows better than that. He was a professional fighter himself. He saw the rise and fall and rise of Lennox Lewis. When Lewis lost to the likes of Oliver McCall and Hassim Ratman, he saw the way Lewis came back. But he, if you follow his Twitter account, for example, he's been trashing Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua for a long time now. I mean, he said that Eddie Hearn is a terrible matchmaker in the wake of the Ruiz fight. But that's not the kind of attitude that you need to have towards a heavyweight champion. A heavyweight champion should be willing to fight anybody. So it shouldn't be about matchmaking, quote unquote, for a heavyweight champion. They should be willing to step in there against anyone. You know, being a matchmaker for a heavyweight champion should be the easiest job in the world if you really believe in your fighter. And clearly, Eddie Hearn believed in his fighter. Joshua believed in himself. So you put, put him in with anyone. So it doesn't make sense him saying, oh, he's a terrible matchmaker for making the Ruiz fight. He's the heavyweight champion. He's supposed to take on all comers, Glenn. Furthermore, he's constantly, you know, and, and he was even slagging off AJ and Hearn before the Ruiz loss if you follow his Twitter account. So constantly saying bad stuff about them. Why is this? And and also, uh, before I go into that, he talks about staying away from Wilder. Why would you advise a heavyweight champion not to unify? Why would you advise a heavyweight champion not to try and become undisputed? That doesn't make any sense. If you're a Wilder fan, you should want Wilder to fight AJ to get all the belts and leave no doubt at all. Silence all the critics. Same way if you're a AJ fan, you should want AJ to fight Wilder, get all the belts, silence all the critics, etc. But here we have this guy, Glenn McCrory, saying, oh, he needs to stay away from Wilder because all Glenn McCrory is doing is just trying to trash Anthony George. That's all it is. He's part of the anti-AJ, anti-Hearn hate movement. That's what Glenn McCrory is about. And the reason why, well, he used to be a Sky Sports pundit but Glenn McCrory kept on getting in trouble. So this article in the mirror, I believe is from 2014. Yeah, there you go. December, 2014. Sky Sports boxing pundit and former world champion in court accused of assault. Glenn McCrory, 50, who was IBF cruiserweight champion, world champion in 1989, is also accused of making off without paying a taxi fare. So this was in 2014. And I remember him tweeting that Sky had fired him. But then he appeared back on Sky a while later. I can't remember if it was directly following this incident, but it was around this kind of time frame. And then he was back on Sky. So who knows? Maybe he was reprimanded by Sky because of his behavior outside the ring, but then they gave him a second chance. God knows how many chances they've given him. But when this particular thing happened here, this incident in 2016, a couple years later, Sky didn't give him a second chance. Yeah, they fired him. They did not re renew his contract after this incident. It says a Sky Sports pundit threatened to kill driver in drunken outburst. Now, I remember reading an article which didn't directly mention Glenn McCrory, but I assumed it was about Glenn McCrory because it talked about a Sky boxing pundit and there may have been legal reasons why they couldn't name the person at the time. And it said that this individual would turn up drunk to work all the time and always late and always kind of stinking of alcohol. Was that Glenn McCrory they were talking about? I think it's a reasonable assumption given the fact that he was involved in these incidents. And then finally in 2016 in September, because of this uh, incident where he threatened to kill a driver in a drunken outburst. And let me just read some of the stuff it says here about this incident. Glenn McCrory had just had lunch at a pub so midday, so not even late at night, he just had lunch in a pub when his Range Rover was spotted veering between lanes and mounting the curb. Another road user, whose name I won't try to pronounce, some Eastern European name looks maybe Polish, he noticed his erratic driving and followed him home to confront him about it. But a six foot four McCrory lashed out, punching him several times and threatening to kill him. So McCrory's all over the road doing crazy stuff. In fact, it says here that McCrory had been swerving his car between lanes. It was a single carriageway and he was in the opposite lane. 
When I saw that, I thought something was strange, so I kept following it. Then it came back into our lane and back into the cycle lane. He was on the wrong side of the road for about four car lengths. He was veering across the road from one side of the road to the other. When the door opened, it stunk of alcohol. I said, you should not have done that. You are pissed. He replied, what the bleep has it got to do with you? Anyway, you get the picture. So he goes on to say, where is it now? Yeah, McCrory punched the guy several times, leaving him with some facial injuries and what have you. Four police cars in a van then rushed to McCrory's home and arrested him in front of his partner and two young children. So McCrory was involved in all kinds of shenanigans outside of the ring with relation to alcohol, assaulting members of the public and what have you. And a couple days after this particular, particular story came out, Sky got rid of him. And since that time, Glenn McCrory has gone from being a supporter of Anthony Joshua, because you would always see him when he was with Sky saying good things about AJ. Not over the top, but you know, he was fairly complimentary. But since Sky fired him, this guy's just been at Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn's neck ever since. Just trashing Joshua, trashing Hearn. He just seems very bitter about the fact that he's no longer with Sky. Did Eddie Hearn have something to do with Glenn McCrory not getting his job or not getting his contract renewed at Sky? Did he have something to do with it? I don't know. Maybe Glenn McCrory feels like he does. Who knows? But he certainly seems to be a very, very bitter man at this point, Glenn McCrory. Um, scratching around, doing dinner dinner talks and all this kind of stuff. He hasn't got a pundit job on any other major network. And remember, Glenn McCrory worked for Sky from, when was it, the early 90s? I remember Glenn McCrory and, and Ian Dark doing commentary from the early 90s. And to be sacked by them in 2016... It must have been a very difficult thing for him. So, yeah, you can see why <laughs> he might be bitter towards that organization and people who are doing well inside the organization. And, and as I say, the fact that he hasn't got a job, let's say, with BT, what does that say about Glenn McCrory? Why haven't BT employed him? Because they've employed, for example, Paul Dempsey. Paul Dempsey used to work with Glenn McCrory. The old Sky team back in the days was Paul Dempsey, Glenn McCrory, Ian Dark, they also had uh, Barry McGuigan would do a lot of work for them. Even Gary Mason would come on from time to time. But of those old Sky people, uh, what's his name now? Ian Dark, excuse me. He works for BT. He does football commentary. Paul Dempsey works for BT. He does boxing. Glenn McCrory, he doesn't work for Sky and he doesn't work for BT. Why not? Think about it. What is it about Glenn McCrory's character and the stuff he's been involved in that maybe dissuades some of the other broadcasters to hire this man? Again, I'll just leave that as an open question. All I can tell you is, you know, he's been involved in certain incidents. There have been reports over the years, and there's more reports than this about stuff that Glenn McCrory's been involved in outside of the punditry work that he's done you know, in his personal life. So I would suggest that this is why he's so negative towards AJ and uh, Eddie Hearn. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm out. Hatman merch is now available. We got t-shirts, vests, hoodies, and more. Just click the link below. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.